What's up, guys? Ever wondered how to transform your regular TV into a smart entertainment hub? Today, we're diving into the world of Amazon's Fire TV Stick, the 4K model with the Alexa voice remote, and I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up. Whether you're a tech newbie or a savvy streamer, this guide has got you covered. Let's unbox this gadget and get started. Right out of the box, we've got our key player, the Fire Stick itself, along with its power adapter, a micro USB cable, two AAA batteries for the remote, an HDMI extension for those tight spots behind your TV, and of course, the voice control remote. Let's plug this little powerhouse in and see what it can do. All right, let's get started with setting up your Fire Stick. First, we need to connect it to your TV. Look for an HDMI port on your TV. It's usually labeled as HDMI 1 or something similar. Now take your Fire Stick. See how it's designed to fit easily into this port? Just plug it right in there. But if you find it's a tight squeeze or the space is crowded, don't worry. You've got this HDMI extender. It's like a little bridge that makes connecting easier. Just attach the extender to your TV and then connect the Fire Stick to the other end of the extender. Next up, we need to power the Fire Stick. You have two simple options here. If your TV has a USB port, great. Just use the included USB cable to connect the Fire Stick directly to your TV. This keeps things neat and means less clutter around your TV area. Or if that's not an option, use the power adapter. Plug one end of the USB cable into the Fire Stick and the other end into the adapter. Then plug it into a wall outlet. This way your Fire Stick gets its own power source independent of your TV. Great, your Fire Stick is connected and powered up. Now let's get your TV tuned to the right channel. Grab your TV remote and turn on your TV. Look for the input or source button on your remote. This button is the key to switch your TV's focus to different devices. Press input or source, and you'll see a list of inputs like HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and so on. Remember where we plugged in the Fire Stick? Navigate to that HDMI input using the arrow keys on your remote, then select it. And just like that, your TV should now display the Fire Stick's home screen. We're all set to jump into streaming. Next, with our Fire Stick in place, it's time to bring our remote to life. Open the back cover, pop in the two LA batteries, and it's ready to go. The remote should automatically pair with the Fire Stick. If it doesn't, just press and hold the home button to start the pairing process. Next, turn on your TV and switch to the input or source mode where your Fire Stick is connected. You should see the startup screen pop up. It's like opening a door to endless entertainment. Now let's take a moment to understand this remote. It's pretty intuitive. Use the directional trackpad for navigation, the central button for selection, the home button to jump to the home page, the menu button for additional settings, and the back button to return to the previous screen. The media controls are for your playback needs and the volume buttons, well, they control the volume. The power button turns your TV on and off and this little gem here is the voice button. Press and hold it to activate Alexa and command your TV with your voice. Back to our setup. Press the home button on your remote and you'll be greeted by the startup screen. Let's walk through the setup process. Hit the play pause button to begin. Select your language, connect to Wi-Fi, and then log into or create your Amazon account. After you're logged in, Amazon gives you the option to save your Wi-Fi password for future use and set up parental controls. It's all about making your experience personalized and secure. Now let's pair the remote with your TV to control the volume and power settings directly from the Fire Stick remote. Ensure your TV volume is up. Now try adjusting it with the Fire Stick remote. If it works, select yes and okay, you're almost there. Final step, customizing your home screen. Amazon lets you select your favorite streaming apps and TV channels. Navigate through the options, select what you like, and hit finish. All your chosen apps will start downloading automatically. And that's it. Your TV is now showing the Fire Stick's home screen, and you're ready for endless streaming. If everything went smoothly, you're all set. But hey, if you're facing any issues or have questions, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. I'll do my best to help you out. Your streaming success is what we aim for here. Love the guide? Hit like to let us know, and subscribe for more handy tech tips. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy streaming.